Let's discuss what a qualified income trust can pay for. And real quickly, if you aren't familiar, a qualified income trust or a QIT, also known as a Miller Trust, this is a tool that's not used for assets at all. This is a tool that is used for folks who make more than what Medicaid allows in terms of monthly income. Medicaid looks at all your income sources combined, social security, pensions, IRA distributions, annuity payments, whatever it is. And would they and combine that all? And if that number exceeds a certain monthly amount that changes every year, then you're not eligible for Medicaid. Doesn't matter if you don't have two other pennies to rub together. And some people just based on their social security check are not financially eligible for Medicaid, even though they may be otherwise flat broke because their income is just simply too high. So for folks who have too much income, we have the QIT or the Miller Trust, which is what allows us to still qualify for Medicaid and satisfy that income test requirement. So the idea is currently as of 2024, and if you're reading this, it changes every January. So if you're, if you're, if you're watching this in 2025, this number will be different. In 2024, the monthly income cap from all sources combined gross is $2,829 from all sources combined, 28.29. So just to use a nice round number, if your income were really $2,929 per month from all sources combined, you'd be $100 over the income cap, and then you would need an income trust just to place that $100 into each and every calendar month that you're looking to be eligible for Medicaid, whether it's to help pay for care at home, or whether it's help to pay for care in an assisted living facility or a nursing home, okay? So again, in this hypothetical example, my client's $100 over, but if you're $1 over, you need an income trust for that, for that dollar. Okay, so let's just say we're putting $100 into this trust. Sometimes my clients go, well, well, now we lose access to that money. That's not fair. And I say, no, you don't lose access to the money. You just have to transfer it into this trust every month. The money can come right back out to pay for health, wellness, or medical related expenses, right? For more care. Qualified income trust funds, money coming out of a qualified income trust are not supposed to go towards property taxes or the utility bill or uh, helping to pay for a vacation or to the credit card company unless it's to cover the cost of care, right? So it's just for health expenses. So every once in a while, I have clients who say, well, Medicaid is covering all of my care expenses, so what do I spend this money on if I don't have health, wellness, or medical related expenses? And the answer to that question is you have to you have to make one of two decisions. The first is forego the income trust altogether and instead use what's known as a pooled special needs trust. A pooled special needs trust without going to too much detail can be used to hold assets or excess income much like a Miller trust. So some people have pooled special needs trust just because their income is too high and because they're professionally managed Maybe, maybe they use it because they don't have a family member or a friend that they trust to be their trustee, so they want the professional anyway. But either way, one of the big differences is a pooled special needs trust can, funds can be used on anything the client needs or wants. It can be it can be health, wellness, or medical expenses, or entertainment, or plane tickets, or paying property taxes, or paying the utility bill, or the internet bill, right? So you would use a pooled special needs trust for if you are concerned that you don't have medical or health related expenses for the QIT. Now, I'm gonna give you one other asterisk to that, which is what I can tell you is to date, meaning from the beginning of time until the date I am, I am filming this video in uh, the, the second quarter of 2024. Medicaid has not seemed to care how qualified income trust funds are spent. Meaning as long as they're spent on the Medicaid recipient and not given away or not spent for any other purpose, they seem to be ignoring the legal requirement that they are only spent on, those funds are only spent on medical or health related expenses. So I tell people that, and I say, listen, if you wanna be above reproach, if you don't have health, medical, or wellness related expenses, you use the pooled trust. Avoid the, I'm not advising you to use the qualified income trust. 
but I can tell you, historically speaking, Medicaid hasn't seemed to care. And I tell you, I'm on the board of directors of the Academy of Florida Elder Law Sections. I'm, I teach other lawyers about this stuff. I go to all the conferences. I'm very involved with the Elder Law Section of the Florida Bar. I tell you that not to brag. I tell you that because if there were a concern about this, I most likely would have heard about it from one of my colleagues. I'm very involved in the elder law community. So, so my clients have to determine how risk adverse they are. If you want to be above reproach, use the pool of trust. If you say, well, let's, the fact that this has been going on for a little while and Medicaid hasn't cared, seemingly, and as long as we're going to continue to use the income trust funds just for the Medicaid recipient's purposes, we'll take the risk that it's not going to be a problem for us as well. And that's totally up to you. So hope this helps. Qualified income trust funds are really only supposed to be spent on health or medical related expenses, but as long as it's spent on the recipient, historically, Medicaid hasn't delved too deeply in, in how they're spent and they've been allowing uh, it to be used for really any purpose that serves the Medicaid recipient. So take that for what it's worth. I hope it helps. If you found this video useful, please share it, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in talking about Medicaid planning anywhere in the state of Florida, give us a call, happy to help. Thank you very much for watching.